Hi, this is Ty here, your fitness director from Lava Fitness. Today we're going to be going over two different circuits. One with our free motion stabilization routine. Now this is our cable routine we put for program designs. The second, we're going to be going through the BOSU ball. This is going to show you how to stabilize your core, increase your metabolism, and lower that body fat. All while maintaining strength. Now remember, keep in mind, when you do a program design with one of our fitness professionals, this is what we'll have you on from a period of four to six weeks for body changes. Remember, it takes four to six weeks for chemistry changes in the body. You can do this as little as two times a week. So the first one will be on our cable machine, free motion, six exercises. The next one will be our BOSU ball, five exercises. Hi, this is Ty with you from Lava Fitness, your fitness director. We're here with Brooke, our nutritional director, also our trainer, and he's going to model for us a stabilization circuit routine you can go through to increase your metabolism and increase strength. Now remember, the key word here is stabilization. Every one of these six exercises we're going through is going to increase strength in your core. We're going to show you the regression and the progression. Starting out, we're going to start with presses for the chest. We already have it set here. Brooke's going to take a staggered stance. Now, our repetitions on this are going to be anywhere from 12 to 20. At least get 12 or 20. Now, to show you this, we're not going to do all the repetitions, but he's going to do about eight. He's got his weight set. Good. There's one. Notice how he's squeezing and he's pressing. Keeping his core tight. He's pulling his belly button back to his spine, as we say. It's three. Four, good. Five, six, let's just do one more. Let's do lucky number seven. Seven, good. Now, if you noticed on all that, he's already getting his blood pumping. We call this peripheral heart action. He's starting with a press. Now we're gonna move the opposite and we're gonna do a pull. We're gonna adjust these. Let's take it to two. Now we have this set in our program designs for our clients. So when we take you through this, you get the help of a, of a professional trainer to show you each one of these. Now, he's going to be pulling the opposite motion. There's one, two, notice he's squeezing his scapula together. He's obviously got good visual here to show. Now he's going to show the progression to stabilize and strengthen your core. He's going to go up one leg. Go ahead. And I always say keep that leg nice and flat. I should be able to sit a cup of coffee on here or water. Good. Two more. One. Two, good. Notice how you got that pull in and you squeeze. That's a little harder when you do it that way. You have to draw in your core and it's making you balance. Now, while they're up high, we're going to bring it to the triceps. We did the presses, we did the pulls. Now he's going to pull down, good, and squeeze. There's one, two, let's show that. There we go. He's going to get that nice horseshoe form through here. Good, let's do two more. One, Two. Now, once again, what we talked about to make this a little harder, stay right there, Brooke. We're going to go one leg now. Now, we would take the weight down. There we go. He's having to stabilize his core on this. What we would do when you don't know what weight to be using, you have the help of a fitness professional find that you'd be using 60 to 70 percent of your one rep max. So we would find that, and that's how we would know what weight to set it on. Remember, stabilization routine. You got stabilization muscular endurance, hypertrophy, and strength. You can get, get a great results through a stabilization routine. Now we're going to take it down. So we've done the presses, we've done the back, we've done triceps, now we're going to move on to the shoulders. Stagger stance, he's looking up, core nice and tight. There you go, nice presses. Lucky number seven, we're going to do seven of these. Now relax right there, here's the kicker. To make your core stronger so we're not having to waste time doing all these sit-ups, he's gonna, right here we go. Look, leg nice and flat. Where's that coffee? Somebody bring my coffee? Can't get him laughing yet. He's as stoic as a Russian I'm guard. So focused. <laughs> Good, relax. Now, while it's still down, we can flow through this. Everything has to be a flow system, okay? Now he's gonna do the biceps. Let's do seven of those. Good, notice how he's squeezing, he has a staggered stance. Relax right there, let's make this harder now. Let's get the core involved. Ooh, a little bit of a wobble. 
I know we're waiting at home for him to fall. I'm just, we're just waiting. Good job. Nice. Now, from here, he's going to have to turn his back to you here, so we're moving the blood down, right? Bam, 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 bam. We're going to do the legs. Pulley's still in a low position. We're still flowing, okay? He's keeping his glutes nice and tight, and then push up. He's driving from the heels, not the toes. His knees are staying behind his toes. Good. So usually on this, when we say 12 to 20 reps, when you get to squats, you got strong legs here. So you can move up to about 20 reps to really get your heart pumping. This is a conditioner, remember that. Good, let's do 47 more. That's it? Now he's laughing. All right, and relax. Now, when he would finish that, if you're here with a fitness professional or you're on your own, we would keep his rest time after that whole round under a minute. So when he gets better, he could do 45 seconds. When he gets better, he can rest for 30 seconds and then bam, go right through it again. All those six exercises. Numbers don't lie. When your rest times go down, you're getting in shape, you're getting in better condition. And don't forget to stay hydrated. <laughs> after each one of these, you wanna sip some water. It's very important for performance. And even before, you wanna have three to four glasses of water before you start your workout. Very crucial. Notice I had that on cue. I was wondering how out of breath he would be to say that. Yeah. But that, it's <laughs> not very, too very, bad. I hope it's not too bad. It's very true though. Always stay hydrated. Remember, your body is at 70, 75% is made up of water. Yes, 70%. Yeah. 70%. So there it is right there. So you want to increase your muscle, you want to increase your conditioning. Remember to stay hydrated, especially when you're doing a circuit stabilization routine such as this. Now we're going to show you the circuit from top to low, how it's supposed to be done with minimal rest, a constant flow, six exercises, and we're gonna go starting off with the chest. Remember, we're only doing eight reps, not to take up too much time, but it's 12 to 20 reps. Good, once you get eight, we're gonna move through. Now these last couple, let's go, single leg. Yeah, good job. I love throwing that quick challenge in on Brooke. Good. Now we're going to adjust it. Remember, if you're with one of our trainers, you can take it to a one or a two on your notch system. Ready? He's going to do eight. Pull it down. Let's go single leg here. Nice. Pulling his scapula back. So he had little rest time into that transition. Chest, back, triceps, shoulders, biceps, legs. Six exercises. All right, now he's gonna to move to triceps. Keep it up where it is. He's gonna stand back. He's gonna pull down. Let's go single leg, keep that core engaged. So this is really increasing his, just that little movement with stabilizing his core, it's getting his heart rate up, okay? And if you guys could only see his face right now, you would know. <laughs> Good, now we're gonna take it down. All right, he's moving on to shoulders. Here's a toughie right here, especially if he goes single leg. Good, draw that core in. Excellent. Three, four, glass of water, no, so he keeps nice and tight. Five, six, two more, seven, eight, nice. He's gonna stay right there, he's gonna move to biceps. Let's go double leg right here since he's getting a little tired. Or are you? Getting tired. Yeah, good. see? Humility is everything. Nice. So notice, he constantly moves. Now, keep in mind, if you get a little tired, you can rest 20, 30 seconds. But the purpose is this is a conditioner. Now he's moving to his legs. He's getting the blood pumping all the way back down. Six exercises. And this is part of our program design with our fitness professionals to help you lose weight and strengthen that core. This is just one of our many arsenals we have here. All on one machine. He's got a great squat. Notice he's pressing from his heels too. Relax, take a deep breath. Remember the importance we can't stress enough, stay hydrated. You're gonna need to stay hydrated. Now, technically where he moved through one exercise to the other with little rest, we would probably rest him about 30 seconds here and then move him through that whole circuit again. Three to five rounds of that circuit is everything you need. Even if you only did it twice a week, you're going to get great results from that. 
Burke, you have anything to say? It's a good workout. Yeah, he's huffing and puffing. <laughs> good. We'll be right back. And next, Brooke is going to take me through five BOSU exercises that's going to get my heart rate up and give me a terrific workout. Hey, this is Ty here with Lava Fitness. Back at you again with some more exercises to increase your heart rate, lower your body fat, and increase that metabolism. I'm here with Brooke, he's our trainer. How you doing? He's our new nutritional director as well, and he's going to describe these exercises while I'll do them, and we're going to definitely, definitely show you the right way to do them, because sometimes many people can do them the wrong way. Brooke? All right, we're going to get started, but first we're going to really slow it down. We're going to start out how to do it the proper way. Alright, get, uh, get in your stance, come right over to the right, and just go slow motion how we do it. We take our left step onto the ball. So this is a toe touch. It's going to be here, to there. And switching his feet. To there. Just a switch. Yes. Notice how he's not jumping on the ball with both feet, he's just touching the ball gently. Many times you'll get a lot of people and they'll be there, to there. This is how you're there. not supposed to do it. Yeah, that's just dangerous. Mm -hmm. So we're here. And back. Keeping his core tight at all times. This is the faster version. You want to go to the modified version? Yeah, well, let's give him a regression for the toe, the toe touches, touches. Right? This is very simple. simple. You can be side here, side there. Simple. And just as little as 20 seconds with a 10 second rest is just enough. We call that Tabata times. Mm -hmm. Good. Two step with it. Right? <laughs> he can dance too if y'all didn't know. <laughs> All right, next thing is the lunge. He's going to lunge onto the ball with one foot. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these BOSU exercises, instead of just this being a ball we're touching, this is going to be so we can stabilize our core and activate our, activate our glutes. Two, two major muscles that really, really are important in everyday living yeah, as far as strengthening. We're firm believers in strengthening core through stabilization compared to a lot of sit-ups and crunches. And that also is forward flexion. That can herniate discs. Yeah, that's been proven. True. We're connected with physical therapy. We see that every day. So this way we're going to strengthen the core and the glutes. You have to have a strong backside to support this antagonist muscles. That's what yeah, we call true. them. So with the lunges. Take me through it here, Brooke. He's, he's been beating me all no, morning. Start with your feet, shoulder width apart. He's going to take his left foot and step onto the ball. He's going to step right in the center, keeping his core tight, engaging his glutes, and really squeezing back and pushing against the ball back to the starting position. Good. Now his right foot. Same thing, keeping his core tight, squeezing his glutes, pushing off the ball back to his starting position. Great. Now we're going to speed it up a little bit and how we normally would do it. Notice how it's core tight, the ball is not moving at all. Good. And if you want to increase the intensity, mm -hmm. we'll hand our clients a medicine ball oh. or a dumbbell so they'll have a little bit of weight here. Yeah. But we won't get you to that point until you can handle your own body weight. Quick. Good. And stop. Good. Now let's do a uh, regression mode. So. Regression for that. Very simple. Since a BOSU is a lot of instability, that makes it tougher, right? Very simple. Just for a lunge, you there. Right back. Now, what we'd also have is we can have a trainer or a TRX and have you hold on to something. So you're going here. And you can also go in reverse. Remember, you're driving from this front. That's your main push, push. right there. Yep. Next up is the BOSU squat. Oh, tough one. A tough one. He's going to pick the BOSU ball up. Get in a squat position, athletic stance, feet's a little wider than shoulder width apart, toes slightly out, and he's gonna squat down, squeezing his glutes and hamstrings, and pushing through his heels. And up. Good. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, getting his heart rate up. And you'd be amazed at how much stabilization and strength I have in my core right now to do this, to hold this angle. Good. And stop. Regression. 
Yep, let's go to the regression. Right in here, you just hold, hold on, on to it, it, right? This is obviously gonna be a lot a harder. harder here, regression. Yes. Still driving through his heels, keeping his core tight at all times. Another modified version is not even holding it. You're just keeping your hands to your side. Good. And stop. Next up. What is next? <laughs> oh, next, we, it, it, simple. We got the burpees. Yeah. Now this is completely full body. So when you do this, you do 10 of these, you do five of these, eight, mm -hmm. however many, you're really going to increase your heart rate. Because look at all the compound movements, all the joints that are moving. Me. So take me through, through it. it. All right, he's going to grab the ball down in a parallel position, keeping his abs tight, engaging his glutes. He's going to move his feet up closer to the ball so he can stand up. He's going to raise the BOSU ball up and jump in the air. Good. He's going to do the same thing on the way back down. And back up and jump. Great. And when you go down, you got to engage your core. That's the most crucial muscle group you're going to engage while doing this. Good. And up. I feel my core burning already. Of course, I felt that three minutes ago. <laughs> Good. And the modified version, he's not going to do the push up, he's just going to go down to a parallel stance. Down and up. He's still keeping his core tight. And jump. Yes. Good. Or you don't even have to jump. You can be here. Yep. Right. Regression, Mission. even lower Win than that, that right? Good. Jump. This works really well for an older population. Jump. And good. My legs good. are burning. My abs are tight. And rest. Last but not least, the knee sliders. Go ahead and get those out. So we usually always use these on the turf. A slider, yeah. for the most part, is going to be better because what happens with regular mountain climbers? When we do this, and you're pounding, you see a lot of athletics. Bam, 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 bam. Well, that's a lot of jarring on your lumbar. So we choose to use these sliders to put it in a safer, what am I trying to say here? Safer range of motion. Motion, yes. yes. And it's, it glides up and down so you're not just constantly pounding your toes. No ground On down. the ground, yes. And we're going to put it on the BOSU to make it a little more advanced, yes. right? So it's going to give me that instability Sweet. so I have to always, Really squeeze his core. Huh. Ready? Good. On you. Ready, go. Notice how he's bringing his knees almost all the way to his elbows, as high as he can. Still keeping his core tight and focused on his breathing. Good, almost there. And stop. Great, let's do the modified version. Sliders coming over. And go. Good. Knees are still coming up to his hands. It's just easier since the, it's elevated. Good. Almost there. And stop. Woo. And remember, don't forget, a lot through these mm -hmm. 10 seconds, you can do small stretches if you need to, to always keep the blood flowing. The last thing you want is blood pulling. And after this whole circuit, you want to stay hydrated. Water is very crucial to keep your performance at the highest level. Yeah, I had a banana right before I did this with some water. I hope that's not ran out on me already. <laughs> me either. <laughs> All right. So that's the simple circuit we can take you through. Mm -hmm. All those movements. Now there's, they're meant for a reason to get your blood flowing from down, yeah. down, down, down. Yeah. Peripheral heart action. We're firm believers in that. In functional training. Mm -hmm. That's a meta, meta, very highly, highly metabolic circuit. Very. Oh gosh, there, my heart rate. Just <laughs> he can't even talk. His heart rate is so high. So thanks for watching this. This was just a quick circuit we could give you that's gonna increase your heart rate. This is a Tabata time. Now also keep in mind, you can do a 30-15 or a 40-20, meaning 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and that's gonna increase it. There's always ways you can advance this. Two to three times a week, and that's all you need.
Thanks for joining us today at Lava Fitness. And remember what we always say, you can't build function on top of dysfunction. We'll take you where you need to be to help you reach your goals. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.